Now this is about idolatry. And I want you to learn one thing, one principle from this video. Remember, it don't matter if it's a brazen snake on a pole, if it's a Bible in your hand, holy water, or whatever. If God's Spirit's not there, it won't work. This is where Moses made a fiery serpent, put it on a pole. And they said, if you look on it, if you've been bit by a snake, you'll be healed. Now, did the brazen snake heal you? No. It's the Word of God. I want this to be impressed upon you. If the Spirit of God is not in something, it won't work at all. See, this brazen snake, they looked upon it, and if they was bitten by a snake, it worked because God said it would work. Not because of the snake, not because of the pole, and nothing. Get this message. This is the most important message you'll ever hear about idolatry. Because Jesus spoke some words like he told the little woman that touched the hem of his garment. He said, your faith has made you whole. His garment didn't make her whole. He didn't make her whole. He said, virtue's gone out of me. It was the Spirit of God that made her whole, you see. It was the Spirit of God that raised him from the dead. When you look upon the cross of Christ, you don't worship a cross. Now, I want you to get this here. Hezekiah removed the high places and break the images and cut down the groves and break in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For until those days, the children of Israel did burn incense to it, and he called it Nahustan. Now, this Nahustan snake, this was hundreds of years after Moses made it in the world. This was after David. Hezekiah come after David. Here he's cutting down all the groves and everything. So they was still had this brass snake now, and they're burning incense to it and worshiping this snake. Uh, read this. Hundreds of years later, the Israel people were still worshiping the brass snake that Moses had made. They made an idol out of the brass snake and were looking to it instead of looking to God. That word from God was long dead and would no longer heal anyone or have any effect. God's Spirit was with His Word when He said it to those who He said it to, but not later. They were still worshiping the snake instead of the one that had told them to look upon it. Now, that's the same way they do the Bible. They take these words that's written down. They put a name on it, Holy Bible. This is Nehushta. That was the snake. And they were still worshiping it. Now, watch how these things happen. See, now, as Moses lifted up the serpent, Jesus said, I'll be lifted up. Now, if you look upon Jesus on the cross and you accept his sacrifice it's the spirit of god that'll save you not a cross don't save you why do people carry crosses around their neck they think that cross does something holy for them they put it on their church jesus don't want to see no crosses that's what he was nailed up to you say they look on this snake or they look on jesus and they look on natural things and think they say if the holy ghost is not there if god's spirit is not there i don't care if you got a snake holy water, crosses, or churches, or what? It won't work. They have to be the Spirit of God. Listen to me, what I'm telling you. Get this one principle. No matter what things you see, do not be affected by a pond. It's like they used to have a pool. If an angel went in it why, and troubled the water, they'd be healed. But you see, that's because God said so. And you see, like they wear these crosses, they think it protects them from demons. It don't do nothing. Demons jerk it off your neck and throw it away. It ain't nothing without the Spirit of God. You see, the cross, when Jesus was hanging on it, he honored Jesus because he gave his life for us, and a cross don't mean anything. It's a place where Jesus was crucified. This is what churches do. They put crosses and things on their building instead of having the, the Spirit of the living God. See, you can have all these relics, Bibles, crosses, the brazen snake, holy water, you can have robes with incense and big sanctuaries, but they're no good at all. Remember this. If you don't remember nothing else, if the Spirit of God is not there, then it, it don't matter what relic you have. It's no good. Like the Bible. I teach people the Bible is not good. We have the Holy Spirit, not the dead letters. Stories written in a history book can't save you. I knew a woman that had wrote down all the promises in the Bible that was promised to her from the Bible. And none of them was for her. None of them. Because the spirits and all the words that were spoken in the Bible are used up. They was used for somebody else. See, they build an image, a fantasy in the minds. The Bible, they put them in the mind and they have an image, an illusion that Christ will bless them because he said it to somebody else. Because Elisha told Naaman to go down and dip in the river of Jordan, he'd be healed. He was healed of, of leprosy. Well, you see, you can do that today and you won't be healed. 
because it was God's word that healed him. It wasn't the river of Jordan healed him. It was God's word. It's nothing natural. It's a thing that Satan uses with these crucifix and all these things. And uh, you need to have God's spirit. If you don't feel God's spirit in a place, it don't matter how many different things you have. You've got to meet this living God in the Holy Ghost. Please get this one thing. There's no spirit in the Bible. I don't care how much you read a Bible. They build all their churches on the Bible, on crosses and on relics. Now open your eyes and hearts and destroy your icons, idols and images of God's Word, and the imaginary Jesus that you've built in your mind from the Bible. Ask Yeshua to fill you with the real Holy Spirit and then live after the true and living God. The Bible is the mark of the beast. Overcome it through the Holy Ghost. Have the Holy Ghost in you. That's the only way. Get this point of view for now and forever because that's where we're going into the spirit world.